want to explain why the dielectrics, uh, how the dielectrics are different from conductors? Try to understand it and just tell anything. I mean, if the interview asks you, interviewer, why there are two differences uh, in Maxwell equation? First of all, you have to consider in the dielectrics what is happening here. There is a less number of free charges, almost, I mean, very less amount co compared to the conductors, right? And secondly, what is going with the charges? If the free charges is less, then the free charges is less, but there are bound charges, means that they actually, they have closed cells, right? So they, uh, what is, uh, suppose I am giving a external electric field. What can happen here? there can be polarization means the center of positive charge and the center of negative charge can get displaced due to due to this external electric field the negative charge is going attracted towards the external positive voltage and the positive charges will get attracted to the external negative voltage and there will be some displacement in the two separate uh, in the two charges and we get some polarization net dipole moment per unit volume right so in this polarization, there will be also polarization current, right? If it is producing any current in um, electrodynamics, so the variation of this polarization will also produce some polarization current. But in the conductor case, we are taking only considering the free electrons, means the electrons are almost free and they can freely uh, go inside the conductor. But if you want to, have some current externally then you have to apply the voltage and then the external electric field, um, current can conduct as well now for the conductor we have to include the maxwell uh, in the maxwell equation that is uh, j and that j will be sigma e, right so sigma is the conductivity and is the external electric field now why we take the dielectrics for the capacitance or to store energy suppose there is some external electric field now that if, suppose i am taking plain parallel capacitors so two parallel conductor uh, conducting planes will take and inside that it can be filled with air or it can be filled with any dielectric medium or any dielectric insulating medium Whenever there is an external field that is surrounding this dielectric medium, there will be polarization and that will reduce the effective electric field, right? Because this positive charges will be reduced by the bound charges inside the bound negative charges inside the dielectric and the negative charges on the conductor will be reduced or get reduced by the positive charges of the dielectric so overall the effective in uh, electric field will get reduced and whenever the effective electric field will get reduced that will reduced by the dielectric constant which is the property of the dielectric which is the material property it is totally dependent on the how much it can reduce the external electric field with its polarization uh, with its polarizability right so if electric field is reduced, definitely the overall voltage is reduced. So within that particular voltage, I mean, overall voltage is reduced, mean you can store more energy because overall energy is reduced for the system. So you can store more energy. Now, if this uh, between two uh, conduct, uh, I mean, capacitor, parallel capacitor, suppose we are taking two conducting uh, wires, and in between them, I also feel another conductor. What will happen? This simply just they will conduct the, I mean, electric uh, electricity. They will not going to be used for the storage because they are all free. So this bound charge ability or this property of the bound charge, the property of the polarizability, that can give us very uh, good uh, energy storage capability. And this also responsible for the understanding that 
okay these are all we are considering the capacitance or everything is for external electric field which is static the epsilon is not dynamic means the dielectric constant is not changing with time now if you think that external electric field what is applied to the dielectric suppose that is dynamic that is changing with respect to time so there will be changing with respect to time also with the polarizability as well because the electric field for one half cycle uh, that will be reversed for the another half cycle so the displacement of the oscillating electrons will get just reversed for the another cycle why i am considering the motion of the electron only because electrons are much more lighter than the nuclear so then the ions so this kind of phenomena we can think that the oscillatory motion of electrons with the damping factor damping due to the collision factor that electron can also collide with each other so so if you model the uh, of the system then you will see you can see that there will be polarizability the displacement of the vector the displacement of the electron can be find out from that oscillatory motion that displacement if you uh, multiply with the charge of the electron that will give you the dipole moment if you take dipole moment per unit volume that will give the polarization and from polarization you can find out the dielectric constant and dielectric constant will be also dependent on omega means the electric field or frequency of the incident electric field which is also varying with time now this time varying electric uh, time varying external electric field will give very uh, beautiful phenomena like uh, suppose the glass who, which will be transparent for the uh, say, visible light electromagnetic wave glass in the, within this glass the light can pass through it but if you take a metal the light cannot pass through it the light will be reflected back or light uh, or if there is i mean inside the metal there will be a decay that is exponential decay and it can penetrate up to some amount of skin depth right this at the skin depth it will be decaying up to 1 by e of the initial amplitude theek okay? hai any problem here no problem yes sir hmm to so, uh, ye sare हाँ ये सारी चीजें आपको समझना होगा कि ऐसा क्या हो रहा है कि मुझे जब मैं ग्लास देख रहा हूँ तो मुझे तो ग्लास के दूसरे दोनों तरफ दिख रहा है मुझे लाइट तो आराम से पास हो रही है ग्लास से पर जब मैं एक मान लो एक एल्यूमिनियम फॉइल ले रही हूँ तो इधर से लाइट डालो तो दूसरे तरफ तो दिखता ही नहीं कुछ भी तो ये सारे रीजन इसी की वजह से कि उसमें जो डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स है ये लाइट और वेव इंटरेक्शन मान लो समझ जाओ आप कि जैसे जैसे हमें जो इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रीली ऑसिलेट कर पा रही है कंडक्टिव मीडियम में तो वहां से हम अगर डैम्पिंग फैक्टर को इग्नोर करते और फिर हम वहां से कैलकुलेट करते हैं कि जैसे हमारी इंसिडेंट लाइट है और हमारे जो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इलेक्ट्रॉन की ऑसिलेशन है वो भी फ्रीली मूवमेंट हो रही है तो ज्यादा से ज्यादा हमें रेडिएशन देगी ऑसिलेटिंग चार्जेस अब वो जो रेडिएशन देगी दैट विल बी एक्सैक्टली ऑपोजिट इन फेस टू द इनकमिंग इलेक्ट्रोमैटिक वेव क्योंकि इलेक्ट्रॉन की डिस्प्लेसमेंट नेगेटिव में होगी क्योंकि उसका चार्ज तो नेगेटिव है अब उस पर जो फोर्स लगेगी एफ इक्व टू क्यू ई दैट विल बी माइनस ऑफ क्यू ई सो इट विल गिव यू एन इनवर्स इलेक्ट्रोमैटिक रेडिएशन एंड दे कैन इजिली कैंसिल आउट इफ दे टू 